I mean, that hurt. Never trust an Elguan, cowardly cows. Oh, something must have spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! Go, or I'll call the others! Whoa, hey there, I'm, I'm friendly and, and unarmed. You're human. You can't be fr... Bird? Crowbird? Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben... Franklin. Ben Bandu. This isn't the same human who accompanied you last time. This is my new human. She's mostly harmless. Say hello, Zoe. Don't be rude. I guess... hello? Hello. Hello. Are you the new Bandu Mbata? Bamboo... what? No, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. So they keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround us. The Yaga. That's it! That's the one we're looking for, right, Zoe? The Yaga! You're... you're looking for the Yaga? Are, on purpose? Are you mad? Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. You know the Yaga? She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's... she's mean. Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yaga. Who is she? The... Yaga? She's old. Really old. She's been around since long before my people came to this forest. Once, she had many servants. Witches, warlocks, evil ones. Like in the stories told by the elders. But her servants are all gone now. So she woke up and crossed into our world. She doesn't belong here, but she's lonely and hungry. Hungry. Great. Well, we still have to find her. She has the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone? I've heard of the Soul Stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Warlock? Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now, just like my people. April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all. But then, then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left here now. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. One day, they'll come back. All the surviving Banda. Until then, I watch over their burrows. And I sing. For them. For all of us. This... Soul Stone. It's important? Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair, anyway. Great! I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like that? I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. The Yaga's beyond the ridge. Once you cross that, you're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin, and she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Ben Ben. Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it for dinner? This is what we came here for. If we don't get the Soul Stone- Everyone dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the Feather Gods of old. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through from the beyond. 
Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then... We'll be back. And I had such a craving for Crispy Squirrel. Naked, twisting branches blocking what little light there is. Check. That's a not at all reassuring shade of black. And what are those swirling things? Giant tadpoles? I don't want to know. Even the plants down there look like... like dead hands wiggling their cold, dead fingers. Welcome to nature. Prepare to be terrified. This is all very grim. I'm expecting an evil queen and a sleeping beauty at any time. If this was the entrance to a haunted house, I'd say they'd gone overboard. Thorny bushes are never a good sign, really. There's just no place for that in a happy story. Mother of Ravens! I don't feel very welcome. I mean, this isn't just a bad sign. It's all the bad signs, all at once, like a grab bag of ill omens. There are plenty of stones lying about. Let's just pick one and pretend it's the soul stone. It's not like anyone would know what it's supposed to look like. They've got that whole normal things that should look quaint and safe except they look horrifically scary thing down to a fine art. I'm not saying I won't cross it, but I do expect the bridge to do something terrible to me. Even the plants down there look like... like dead hands wiggling their cold, dead fingers. Welcome to nature. Prepare to be terrified. I'm glad I have Crow here. Regardless of how useless he may be at times, he's still company. I'll take company over no company any time. Crow looks paler than usual. Even his feathers are losing color. If he had a choice, I'm sure he'd fly out of here in a second, but he's sticking with me. He's braver than expected, I'll give him that. This looks like one of those pivotal moments where the audience is yelling at the heroine, don't go through the gate, are you crazy? Once I'm past that gate, there's probably no way back. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Ah! Oh, my tiny bird heart. I have a bad feeling about this, Zoe. That's so not reassuring. And I used to like cats. Nice kitties. Nice, red-eyed, terrifying kitties. That's so not reassuring. And I used to like cats. Nice kitties. Nice, red-eyed, terrifying kitties. Scary cave? No way to get around it? Fairy tale conventions never fail to make my life miserable. Dark, scary cave? No way to get around it? Fairy tale conventions never fail to make my life miserable. I know this smell. Dogs doo doo, incense, and rotting flesh. Smells like witches, all right. Is it my imagination? Or is the light changing? Is it getting darker? Am I going blind? Help! Do you hear voices? I hear voices. I don't like disembodied voices. Disembodied voices are never a good sign.
What's worse than a twisting path into darkness through thorny bushes and sharp, naked branches? A swamp. Of course there's a swamp. The only thing stopping me from running in the opposite direction right now is knowing I'll have to pass through that cave again. I feel strange. I felt this way before when I was... when I was in a coma. Inside story time. I must be on the border between waking and dreams. They're... they're speaking. It's freaky. Are those the souls of lost children? If so, this place is even more horrifying than I'd imagined. Poor things. The wicked witch is gone, but she is here now. She'll eat you up, like she ate all of us. She tricked us, she trapped us, she cooked us, she ate us. We're the children that never left. It's too late to save us. Save yourself! Go! Weeds and vines, covering everything. This almost feels intentional, like someone's trying to cover something up. So what now? Do we just go up and knock on the door? I don't see a doorbell. <laughs> no, this is neither the time nor place for levity. Oh, I know. I don't actually see a door. I seem to remember a door. You know this place. It's changed, but yes, this is where the Gribbler lived. She smelled awful, and she was so rude. Also, she wanted to eat April. You should have led with that one. Yeah, but she did smell awful, especially when she burned. Hooey. Ugh. Aren't you gonna do something? Is that where the Yaga lives? It looks like a house. I mean, a scary house, sure, but still, just a house. Who bothers me? Who bothers the Yaga? Okay, so maybe not just a house, after all. You have something that's not yours. Leave, monkey. Not until you give me the Soul Stone. We do not know what you speak of. Whoa, my whole body's tingling. I can change things. I can manipulate this dream. Cool. There are three minds in there. But which one's the Yaga? I can hear several voices, all of them angry. It's so loud, so strong. I can't, I can't keep listening. She's too strong. I 
need to get through that door. Stop this! I don't want to fight you, I just want to talk to you. Stop trying to kill me! Oh, this sucks. Wait, the sky? Is this story time? But it's not like how I remember it. It looks... older. It looks a lot... older. you a clever monkey. Hush, sister. Don't speak to it. Just let it lose itself in the dark. It'll weaken, and then we can eat it. It'll probably taste honey sweet, like a newborn babe. Do not underestimate this one, sisters. There's something different about it. Hello? Maybe not so clever after all. We're hungry. We need to eat. Not long now. You must be tired, monkey. Your eyes grow heavy. Sleep. We'll watch over you. Show yourselves. Is it not asleep yet? Lie down and shut your eyes, monkey. Let us feed. That's not going to happen. It answers back. Like a thing with a mind of its own. A very clever monkey. This one has spirit and something else. Something powerful. Wicker Witch of now, the North. Now, there's no need for insults. We are... The Yaga. No monkey has ever been here before. We're curious about you. We? The sisters. Bayeb Ayaga. Bayeb Aya... Baba Yaga. Older than time. Older than memory. Old as darkness. Always three. Not always, sister. In the beginning, the Yaga was one, and then everything unraveled. Light came, worlds were born, monkeys bred and became legion. And the one became three. You are from across the Divide. From a world ruled by machines. That's right. But not really here at all. Dreaming. Apparently so. We thought there was only one dreamer. You were mistaken. Something made you. That's interesting. We didn't see this coming. We do so love surprises. What do you want from us, monkey? The Soul Stone. You stole it. Luke stole it first. Only fair that we stole it back. What do you want with it? To bring it back where it belongs. To cure Lux. Lux is the... Lux is the first dreamer. We know. Oh, we know. You cannot teach us things, monkey. 
We were there in the darkness, in the time before time, before all this terrible brightness, before you monkeys spoiled it. We had the Soul Stone then. It fed us and made us strong, but Lux took it so that Lux could dream. We were there when Lux dreamed the first dream and the stars were born and everything came apart. If we give you the stone, we fade from memory. We will be forgotten. It's all that anchors us when there's no one left to worship and fear us. But they do worship you, don't they? In the city, they've built effigies to the Wicker Witch. The Wicker Witch? A bedtime story, a spineless fairy tale for nestlings. No one truly fears the Yaga anymore. Our power is diminished. I don't know. People need darkness. They need to be frightened. In my world, scary is popular. There are films, games, haunted houses. Playthings. We are less than we were. We remember feeding, our stomachs bloated with flesh and fear. Well, things change. That's how it goes. Maybe, instead of giving you the soul stone, we eat you up. All your delicious memories, all your dreaming powers. Your soul will keep us warm and sated. How's that gonna help anyone? Help? What makes you think we'll help? We owe the universe nothing, monkey. We owe looks nothing. Why should we care if the dream ends? Perhaps, if you give us a little morsel, a taste of you, what can you offer us? Offer? A sin. A secret. Something dark. Something you keep deep inside and fear to reveal. I... Is there really nothing I can give her? What will they do to me if I refuse? There's nothing. You are without sin? Without flaw? There are no choices that you regret. The lucky monkey appears to be as pure as the first rays of light that fell upon the dreamy. Since you offer us nothing, we offer you nothing in return. But why? You're not only punishing everyone out there, but you're also hurting yourselves. Who will worship and fear you when they're all gone? So what else can you offer us, monkey? What can you give of yourself to prove that this matters? I don't know. You demand that we give up the thing that feeds us and keeps us warm. And you cannot make a similar sacrifice. You're right. I can't. I don't have what you're asking for. I'm human. I've made terrible decisions, but I don't linger on those decisions. I move forward and live with the consequences. Shame, anger, disappointment, regret. That's not what feeds me. I survive because I let go every day. Because I have hope and faith in the future. Not because I look back. That goes for most people. And all I want is to give those people a chance to make their choices good or bad, and carry on living and learning. If that's not enough for you, then I have nothing. And if I don't, if I fail to bring the Soul Stone to the first dreamer, Lux dies. The dream ends. There will be no one around to remember any of us, or the choices we've made that brought us here. It all hinges on this moment in time. We know this, little monkey. This is why we are giving you the Soul Stone. But you must do one thing for us in return. Anything, as long as it's mine to give. You must remember us when the dream is in you. The world needs us. Without the sisters, without the Yaga, there is no fear, no imagination. Every dream needs a nightmare. I don't think I could forget, even if I tried. Yes, I'll remember you. 
Good. 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 Here is the Soul Stone. Take it. Use it to wake Lux. We would have done it ourselves, but the Dreamer Monkey is the only one with that power. How do I get there? Someone's coming. Little furry thing. They will gift you a beast to ride. Go to Lux. You will feel Lux like a lantern in the dark. Follow the light. Save the dream, Dreamer. Become one with the first. What does that mean? You'll find out. And a clever monkey. Beware the wizard of lies. He schemes, he plots. He wishes to remake the world. He wears a mask. He harbors ambitions. He always did. But now, there's something in him. It's a dangerous thing, little monkey. Watch out. Now, leave. Where did you disappear to? I have a thing about huge monster houses. I don't like them. Oh, you're the worst sidekick. That's what they keep telling me. I honestly don't know why. Let's go back and find the furry little halfling thing again. I bet you he didn't wait for us. I bet you he's long gone. She's letting us go. What did you do? We're free. Time to go. Thank you, Dreamer. Find Luke's. Save the dream. Is this the one? That's her. That's Zoe. You face Yaga and live? This is impossible. Who are you? Might as well go with what everyone calls me here. Zoe Castillo, Dreamer. Zoe Castillo, Dreamer. She know who she is. Impressive, that, for human. Well, Zoe Castillo, Dreamer, how you survive meeting Yaga without losing your self? You strike bargain like witches of old. Sell your self to Yaga for freedom and power. Do you serve Yaga now? I don't serve anyone, and no bargain. I just... I'd like to learn more about the Yaga. Maybe this one knows something. Who is the Yaga? I only know what elders tell me when I was child. And I only ever encounter Yaga's servants. One of them lived in this forest before. She was Gribbler. Twisted, ancient, evil thing. No one but Yaga know what Yaga truly is. Those who face her never come home, aside from you. My grandmother tell me Yaga was born before beginning of time. Lux and Yaga, light and dark, dream and nightmare. Balance is in everything, human. When our world takes shape, so did Yaga. One became three, three sisters. Innocence, age, decay, all aspects of life. More than the first dreamer, Yaga understand life. She understand mortality. Mortality in her blood. Maybe why she hate the living so much. Why she grew mean and hungry. 
She spread her will across worlds into witches and warlocks, sorcerers and necromancers, the weak and malleable. But as old magic fade, so do Yaga. Wizard Clax and Gribbler were two of her last servants, and April Ryan defeated them both. After that, they say, Yaga was diminished. Now Wicca Witch of North is joke to humans of Mercuria. They remember nothing of what she was. They never see their young eaten by night. But Yaga is not the night that threatens world now. Her darkness is different darkness, one that balances light, necessary darkness. She is nightmare that feeds imagination. The other darkness, well, other darkness is deeper and final. A black fire that spreads and burns until nothing left, until time itself is ashes. Even Yaga feared this darkness. I believe that's why she let me go. So that I can help. You got the soul stone? You carry soul stone? What soul stone? You can trust Bandu Masiri, Zoe. She is an elder. She returned from exile to help me find those who survived. I have Lux's soul stone. I need to take it north, to the Ula. Ula? Why Ula? You know them. I heard of Ula in stories. Ancient people inhabit ruins of their own civilization, high in border mountains. You know where to go? I've seen a map. They live on Cloud Peak in the mountains of Yedra. Maps deceive. Go north and then west. A week's journey on foot before you start climb. We don't have a week. Rushing, rushing, rushing into anything is unwise. You carry Soulstone to Ula for what reason? To return it to the first dreamer. Lux is with Ula? So my visions tell me. Your visions? I know this is hard to believe, but I promise I'm... I believe, I believe. No need to promise. Story too unbelievable for Mole not to believe. Take leap for, human. Ride north, swift as wind. You will reach mountains by first light tomorrow. Leapfur can climb at least part of way. You'll be with Ula in less than two days. She said someone would come, but that thing? Is it safe? I have no idea how to ride that. Not to worry. Leapfur know well enough for both of you. What will you do without a mount? We use feet. Mole's not in rush. We walk slowly so that those of Banda who still live can hear us coming and meet us. We're going east, Zoe. We'll follow the Banda who fled the Azadi. Maybe they still live. Maybe they... We will find them, little one. Take beast. Go north. Do what needs doing. I feel darkness coming. Black fire. Cold as ocean. Perhaps you can stop this dreamer. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Goodbye, Zoe. Thank you, Ben. And good luck. I hope you find your people again. Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. It's not often I get to see you. Why this place? It's safe. And, uh, symbolic, maybe? It was a safe house, before it was raided by Azadi soldiers. 
under Kian's command. I see. So, what news do you have for me, Elena? Your message said... Kian has left for Gien, together with Liko, the Dolmari warrior. For Gien? The prison camp for magicals? Light. Why? What does he hope to accomplish there? This is Kian we're talking about. He believes he can save everyone. He also believes Gien holds the key to the future of the Empire. But breaking into a fortified prison camp? He won't stand a chance. That's why I messaged you, Mother. This might be an opportunity. You did the right thing, child. Come, let's talk. We do not have much time. fence over there and make our way into... We should split up. You've read too many copper coin serials, Liko. Splitting up makes us vulnerable. Stay together, we could both end up dead. Part ways, and one of us might still make it out, even if the other doesn't. It's a possibility, but I still think... Besides, one of us has to locate the administrator's quarters. How do you know there'll be one of them? This is an Azadi camp, Kian. There will be detailed records and documents. If you want to find a single prisoner amongst thousands, you'll need records. I'll climb the fence, enter the camp, create a distraction. I look like the prisoners. I can speak to them. If necessary, I can blend in. You find the administrator and the records. That tower looks like a good place to start. Where do we meet? If we make it that far, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Try not to die. You still owe me your life. Oh, I intend to stay alive. I hope you're on good terms with your gods. I'm on excellent terms with my gods. If I'm going to find prisoner records anywhere in this camp, it'll most likely be inside that tower. That section of the prison walls appears to be part of the old castle fortifications, from when the Necromancer King ruled Guienne. The wall connects with the tower. If I can get up there, I might find a way in. shark on a school of fish. Supplies need replenishing. Seems a bit excessive though, wouldn't it? Not our job to question the administrator. We're just following commands, us. Uh, can't argue with that, I guess. Neither, I reckon, will the goddess. May her light shine upon us all and protect us from shadow. Mm. The necromancer's foul countenance. What a spectacularly unattractive man and not so intimidating up close. This wasn't the wind and weather. The necromancer's head has been broken off by brute force, intentionally. The necromancer king of Gien. I remember reading about him when I was a boy. He was the very symbol of dark magic, a cautionary tale for impressionable children. Climb the old castle wall and find a way into the Black Tower. It's steep and slippery. 
I don't see how I can climb up from here. This side of the wall is too steep and without footholds. I don't think I'll be able to scale it from here. That's where I'll look for the administrator's office, on the upper floors of the Necromancer's Tower. The old castle walls were carved into the mountain itself. If I'm going to find prisoner records anywhere in this camp, it'll most likely be inside that tower. There's nothing for me to grab hold of. This must have stood here for a thousand years. It's an impressive piece of work. Never mind the foul subject. It's too smooth. There are no footholds. It's steep and slippery. I don't see how I can climb up from here. There's nothing for me to grab hold of. This wall isn't quite as sheer, and it has outcrops and footholds. I might be able to scale it. Light. I can't get any further this way. Goddess! Shadow! This must have stood here for a thousand years. It's an impressive piece of work. Never mind the foul subject. Goddess, the camp's larger than I thought. There must be thousands of magicals here. Are they planning to just murder them all? inspire fear and obedience in the other prisoners. Why build a factory in the middle of a prison camp? Are they using magicals for labor? Odd. There are more soldiers inside the camp than along the perimeter. The camp is massive. How many magicals have they imprisoned here? It must be well over a thousand. Liko? Goddess? I hope he passes unseen. So, uh, what burned the bodies? Sanitation. You don't want to catch whatever they died from. Oh, makes sense. What exactly did they die from? Some kind of flu. They all get it. Must be heard it, hedrad, hedrad, us running their blood. Huh. Never heard of a flu that runs along bloodlines. Don't ask questions. The administrator doesn't like questions. The guards are watching the prison grounds. They don't expect anyone to be breaking into the camp. They're keeping an eye on the grounds below. See anything? Nothing. I could have sworn. Maybe it was just a bird. You don't think I can tell the difference between a man and a bird? It's dark. It's dark. Just shut up and keep your eyes open. I owned a fog glass once. 
It helped me keep tabs on the street gangs in Sadir. But Vermont's boys stole it from me. Hundreds of dead magicals. They're dragging bodies into the factory to burn them. But why? What are they doing in this shadow-cursed place? They're burning corpses. Dead magicals. Hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds of bodies. They can't all have perished from natural causes. Guards pressing something, but I'm too far away to see exactly what. I need to get a closer look. Liko's been stirring things up again. Liko. Shadow. Well, that's one way to create a distraction. The administrator's office will be somewhere on this floor, I'm sure of it. Management always picks the topmost floor. That's the symbol of the servant's trade. The attendants and domestics that help keep this facility operational. The military branch. They have a large presence here, but they wouldn't be handling the administration of the camp. That responsibility would lie with the sister. The Maker's Guild. They're responsible for construction and maintenance, not administration. There's probably nothing in there that I need. That, I believe, is the official seal of the Office of Scientific Progress. There were whispers of their existence in Sadir, but I knew of no one affiliated with the division. As far as I understand, they've been instrumental in the creation of the engine. They're a new arm of government, and unlike most other offices, they appear to answer directly to someone on the Council. I'd say this is the best place to start looking for prisoner records and incriminating documents. Locked. Anyone around? Isaac? Joran? Anyone? No one? Oh, goddess, I hate walking all the rounds. Fallows may have the wits of a mind bird, but some nights I swear he's right. 
The stone tombs curse. If one of these things fell over, it would create quite a racket. spent on the streets of Sadia continue to pay off. If I don't return the keys right now, the guard may sound the alarm. The office of no, 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 just The necromancer kings lost his head. I wonder why they've all been removed. Skulls. Shadow. Someone's got a morbid taste in interior decorating. Why would they need an anatomical chart? What's the administrator doing with that? Whose skulls are those? They don't look old enough to belong to the Necromancer King. It's a necklace traditionally worn by a sister. It signifies her standing within the six circles of Sadir. It appears to be pointing at something in this office. The First Mountain, one of our seminal religious texts. As a deer. It's been a long time. I long to see her sun-kissed walls again, to drink from the first river, and to smoke fresh carver root. The administrator must be a knitter of socks and scarves. This speaks in her favor. It's an official document addressed to the administrator. Due to disease spreading amongst the prison population, we recommend reducing the amount of Dalmari meat used for inmate rations. What is this? We do not want disease spreading inadvertently within the magical population, as this will negatively affect test results. Goddess. It doesn't budge. Locked. The administrator must have a fantastic view from this window, when it's not pitch black outside. There's a straight drop to the ground. I couldn't escape through here even if I had no other choice. Mother Utana made me memorize much of this book when I was 12 years old. A thousand pages, densely printed, memorized. Insanity. I still feel a bit queasy looking at it. And I still remember every page as though I read it only this morning. I've tinkered with knitting in the past. It's an honorable and gentle trade. Anyone who knits can't be all that bad. It's a letter signed by the administrator. The last round of testing surpassed our loftiest expectations, confirming initial theories. The Dalmari Plague has successfully been triggered in a seven-year-old Zidling. The creature survived three days before succumbing to fever and bleeding rashes. It died in blessed agony. The disease has not yet settled in an adult Zid, or plague-resistant Dalmari. Further mutations are required before we can move on to the next phase. What in Shadow's name? The 
It's sickening. What are they doing to the prisoners? What does this mean? A stone head, belonging to one of the statues depicting the Necromancer King. What is this abomination? This is not defensible. This is madness. It's too dark to... What is that down there? Are those... bodies? While there, I didn't think you would, but those guards. Standards have fallen. I may need to behead someone, set an example. Goddess, I can't believe you're really here. The Apostle, I am so starstruck right now. I mean, I'm your biggest fan. Biggest? What? What? I followed your career. I know every crusade you've undertaken, every conversion you've carried out, every infidel you've judged and found lacking. I always dreamed we'd meet someday, and here you are, in my lab. <gasps> Goddess, and look at the state of me. I'm such a mess. I do apologize, but you caught me at a disadvantageous moment. I was just about to start cutting. Bip. Is that Bip? Is that what this thing is called? I was aware that it knew you, so I thought it appropriate to work on this one tonight. Let him go. But I'm not finished. Oh my. I'd always dreamed of meeting you, but in my dreams, I never had to pull a gun. And you weren't wearing clothes. I guess it's true what they say about dreams coming true. Do you think me too presumptuous? There's only the two of us. I'm sure you won't tell. I could call for the guards waiting outside the door, but then our little chat would be over, and I feel we still have so much to talk about. I don't think she was surprised to see me. She must have had advance warning. But how? Goddess, she's a monster. Who gave you the authority to do this? Oh! I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm so sorry. I'm Sister Alessandra, Administrator of the Guillen Camp. My title is actually Director of Scientific Progress in the Greater Azadi Empire, but never you mind. Call me Sister Alessandra. Even just Sandra will do. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Do the Six know what you're doing here? The Six are too busy governing to involve themselves in every one of our programs. I answer to the Office of Scientific Progress in Sadir. It was established by the Prophet himself. We have full autonomy. The Six don't need to get their hands dirty. Besides, we're acting, I'm acting, in accordance with the wishes of our Goddess and for the good of the Empire. This camp is a research facility, Kian, not a prison, not a death camp. We're doing very important work. In the last five years, we've made so much progress. We're closer than ever before to producing the cure. What cure? The cure. For magic, of course. We're creating a scourge to wash the world clean. 
When we unleash our holy plague, it will spread like wildfire across all continents. Humans will be perfectly safe, of course, but magicals, they will die. Every single one of them. You're insane. No, no, it's perfectly safe. We're doing science here, not black magic. We're being very thorough. You see, we started with the Dolmari Plague. Do you know about this? Many decades ago, it killed almost half the Dolmari in the world. But then it weakened, and the remaining Dolmari became resistant to the disease. A real shame. It would have saved us a lot of work if it had killed them all. What we're doing, what we have done, is modify this plague. It no longer affects only Dalmari. It affects all things magical. People, beasts, insects, plants. Anything infected by magic is cleansed, eradicated. I don't like to brag, but it's fiendishly clever. I don't understand why anyone would do this. Why are you doing this? <laughs> That's a silly question, coming from the Apostle. You and I were on the same mission. We're doing the work of the Goddess. I'm no longer the Apostle. I know, I know, but well, once an Apostle, always an Apostle. I don't believe you've completely abandoned your faith or your humanity. Some part of you must approve of what we're doing. You're wrong. I don't. This is madness. <sighs> that saddens me, Kian. It really does. I mean, I'm not a bad person. I'm a scientist. We're simply trying to wipe out magic once and for all so that humanity can be safe. You must see that. You must see the good in that. You're evil. What you're doing here is evil. This is the Shadow's work, sister. Evil. What magicals did to us, to our nation, that was evil. Those precious Dolmari of yours murdered my family, burnt our farm to the ground. My brothers and, and sisters, they were children. What had they ever done to deserve that? They died in agony, crying for our parents while those beasts just watched. And what they did to me afterwards. We're doing this so that no one will have to go through what they went through. Now you've made me upset, Kian. You shouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm the one holding the gun. One shot, and they'll come running through that door. Of course, you'll already be dead. You'll be Reflexes prove superior to yours. They would have dodged this bullet. You don't dodge bullets. Try me. So what's going on here? Long story. Who's she? I'll tell you later. Help me! Oh, Goddess, help me! I command you! Sounds like she's very upset. She is. So, what have you been up to, aside from all the stabbing? Freeing prisoners, arming them with the Zadi blades and spears, blowing things up? Sounds fun. It was. Huh. Is that Bip? It is. He's unharmed, thank Goddess. I was just about to... Stand down, Dolmari. What in Shadow's name is going on? Where's the administrator? Down there. Down. Get me out of here. Light protect me, I'm hurt. My legs are broken, I'm bleeding! Do you want to explain what's happening here, Kian? Please, Mia. Ask your men to stand down. I serve the goddess, same as you. The administrator does not. Fine. But if you don't tell me everything, and I mean everything... I will. You may want to sit down. This is going to take a while.
The final preparations will be completed by tomorrow, mistress. And the ceremony? It will begin when the moon rises on Reap Moon's Eve as planned. The engine is ready. We have accomplished everything we set out to do. And the Prophet will be here. So he has told us through his messengers. We have no reason to doubt his word. This is the beginning of a new era, Sister Sire. Indeed it is, Mistress. Such a pity Harmy isn't here with us. Where is the General, Mother? Why does he not grace us with his presence? He's away. Uh, on urgent business. Yes, I'm sure he is. Mistress, did you know about this urgent business of Harmy's? We trust the General to set his own priorities, Sister Sire. Of course. It is a pity, though. Great things are happening, and I'd hate for Harmy to miss out. After all, were the resistance to fall in his absence and the war of the Northlands won, what would remain of his legacy?